this afternoon. We're joined by Donald Gelling, CBE. And before we talk more um, about your life in politics, um, let's talk about your personal life. You have been married to the very lovely Joan for 58 years. I just want to know, do you remember the first time you met? Probably, I would say, in the rain when I picked her up on my motorbike to give her a lift home and she had just arrived in Santon. You see, they came to live at Santon, having moved from Foxdale. And, of course, you were looking for new young ladies coming into the parish. And she was only young at the time, but, the, you know, the decision had already been made. You knew from the off, did that's you? That's it, that's it. <laughs> what would you say, then, is the secret to a long, happy marriage? I think is sharing everything. Uh, never go to bed if you've had a difference of opinion. Sort it out before you do. And uh, there's always a, a solution, always. Otherwise, we'd be in a terrible state, wouldn't we, if there wasn't a solution to every problem. And uh, I think that's what it's all about, is sharing everything, keeping no secrets. And, uh, and it's strange because Joan loves choirs and singing and I like football. Joan will go to the football, but probably suffer it. Whereas, you know what I mean, uh, you've got to give and take, yeah. Um, you have four children. I wonder what sort of father you were to your three sons and one daughter. Well, Joan will say that they didn't see very much of me um, because it was always a very busy time and an awful lot was left to her at home. And it was very much that she was in the house. And uh, was, often people would ring up and say, uh, could I speak to the boss? And she would say, well, you're speaking to the boss of the house. Uh, so they got the message. Uh, but that's the way it was. I was outside, I was either at meetings or I was out working or something. Um, and she controlled inside the house. And uh, basically it worked. And uh, I think we're very proud of you know, the family we've got and what they have achieved. And would you say then you're more hands-on now with your 13 grandchildren and two great-grandchildren? Yes, I would say so. Um, because you can imagine, uh, basically, when I was in politics, you were all day and often every night there would be a meeting of some description. So it would be a case of home, tea, and off out again, and uh, you'd say good night as I'm going to bed. Um, but uh, no, it was very much left to Joan to keep the household together. Which takes us on to your fourth piece of music. What have you chosen and why? Yeah, well, that that, that was uh, the one that, uh, again, believe it or not, in some ways I'm glad because you haven't been able to find it. I know Manx Radio have got this on, re uh, on a record or a tape uh, because I actually sang this. Uh, at a charity event and I can remember it was over at the palace and uh, that true love Joan always thought without doubt that I was singing to her. <laughs> 